the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. I'm going to do some stories you ain't heard before, unless you've been hanging out in my bathroom. <laughs> Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Salberger. We're here in Hyde Park at the Hyde Park Opera House for a performance of The Logger. Eat right and exercise, and you'll be more regular than a Vermont town clerk stealing from the till. <laughs> is played by Rusty Deweese and as well as being an actor, comedian, he is also a hustler. The man works hard. The Hyde Park Opera House is celebrating its 100th year in existence and uh, the Lamar County Players who are a great group are going full bore all year doing celebrations and they asked me since I performed here when I was a kid to uh, kick off that year of celebrations. Well, Lamar County Players, Hyde Park Opera House, let's all sing happy birthday. Happy birthday, that's okay. Here's my name from like years ago. So in to get your head, it was 76. I knew uh, all these people. It's just Ted Keith, farmer, lives up the road from me. I used to rehearse my lines for the plays I did here. I would practice in my parents' basement. Guess what I was doing last night before the show? Practicing in my garage, doing the same stuff. <laughs> Haven't gone anywhere, you know? And that's good. That's a good thing. As long as the nowhere you're going is in Vermont, as far as I'm concerned. Tourists! Love watching cows walk across the pavement. <laughs> Flatlanders put up road signs, moose crossing. I didn't know moose could read. <laughs> what are you doing over there to deer crossing? Deer crossing's right over here. <laughs> and that is bull shit. <laughs> how would you even define yourself? If you were telling someone who the logger is, who Rusty Dewey's is, how would you, what would you say? Entertainer. That's it. It's just an entertainer. That's why I would call you an entertainer slash hustler. You're a hustler too. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think those two words, you don't even have to slash them. I think you just overlap them. It all goes together. Rusty Dewey started performing as the logger 15 years ago. I started out doing TV shows and movies and stuff. I never thought, well, this is going to be my career. I just thought I loved it, so I kept doing it. And then when the logger hit, I said, I can approach this as a business, and this could very well go. I sell thongs. She pointed to my thongs. She said, how much are thongs? She said, thongs are 12 bucks, 6 bucks a crack. <laughs> I hate to turn everything into a business thing, but you have to think of that. Got two books, Scrawlins, Scrawlins 2. Sell them online at independent bookstores, and it shows, and it fares at my merchandise table. <laughs> Did you just buy that? Yeah, not this. <laughs> the work is the thing. Without the work, there ain't the play. I don't think the play is the thing is a good thing to say, even if that Shakespeare guy was smart. It's work that I'm just now myself up there. Then I can go into a character, and I don't think anybody's questioning it. It's just me. I'll, I'll tell them about my last bowel movement. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a conversation. It, it's friends. And it's a community thing. You can do that in Vermont. Of course, I'd had a bad day anyway. I found a Band-Aid and a donut. <laughs> Of it, it was a chewiness. You're the only one in your party. You ain't leaving alone, honey, because I tell you what. Woo! Makes you laugh. He's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's really funny, I guess. He tells it like it is. I just like him. I think he's funny as hell. I saw him before. It's so natural for him. It's just like he's not even trying. And he's a real dude. Definitely. He's like from here, so everybody Maybe. knows him. Yeah. yeah. Everybody in Vermont. Maybe the stupidest idiot you've ever met, but I just got twenty dollars off him here for a five dollar tree that's been sitting here since Halloween. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stop. I got one. 
flagged me down, she climbed up in my cab, and she said, I never knew you were a pickup. Man, you can set my truck on fire, roll it down the hill, and I still wouldn't trade it for a coop and We are lucky to have Rusty DeWeese with us today. I see I wore the team hat. <laughs> <laughs> You got the same freaking exact boots, man. You never know what you're gonna do. When I was in high school, junior high, no one would have pointed to me and said, "See Rusty Dewey? See that guy right there? He's gonna be an actor." He's and I never said when I was in high school, "I like plays so much, I'm gonna be an actor. I'm gonna be in movies." I thought I was gonna be a logger and a truck driver and a bus driver, and I turned out to be an actor and a writer. I have yeah. some students this year that are not highly motivated and don't really understand the importance of education and graduating from high school. They really admire him. They've heard of him. He's famous because of his commercials and his shows. Um, they respect him. They talk about him. And I'm willing to try anything to get these kids to graduate. I was you at 15 years old. 20 years later, 35, I'm in a movie. And then I started doing commercials, started getting on soap operas, Law and Order. Have you ever seen Law and Order? So that has served me well. Will, discipline, talent will get you only so far, maybe nowhere. See how easy life is? It's easy, right? But you gotta be serious about it. I'm making a lot of money. A lot of it. Buy your truck at Heritage Ford. If you're skinnier, fatter, balder, bored. Buy your truck at Heritage Ford. So I can be bought, I'm just saying. I have never seen them so well behaved. They were so quiet. And they sat there and they listened. They didn't even ask questions. They were so impressed. I wish he could come co-teach with me every day. My life has been a very, very blessed life. It's just been a charmed life. I think it's most, mostly my parents. My father was a Greyhound bus driver. Much of my material over the years and still comes when I'm moving, when something's underneath me like a tractor. So yeah, I wanted to build a house. I was 44 years old. I had a couple bucks saved. My dad was dying. I'm a single guy. I have no family. Uh, what, what do you do? You plop down somewhere and you are here <laughs> it's not that big Ava but it has the feeling of bigness because it's all open the Dewey's clock since 1812 my dad died in 2005 so Rusty Dewey's got it that's a big cherry tree going right down through you see that big cherry tree could we make that into an outhouse and put a barn board on it and the builders like we can do anything you want just cost more and take more time woodpecker woodpecker barn board there's a stop bucket yeah, it's the only outhouse with a central vat. <laughs> all, and this is all open. The outside is inside. Oh, you're so oh, you sweet. Radiant heat, you know, in your, under your feet. Got the old two-sided fireplace. In the that room. is on cribs. Everybody always has the big tub with the view. Oh, really? You don't watch cribs? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting the VFW show, I'm sorry. <laughs> The thing about the logger, I think, is the spoken word. On stage, stories. I can do this when I'm 85, and guess what? If I still have the love of my heart, if I still have worked to cultivate interest, and then they're like, honey, we gotta go see this guy, he's 85. You should see him up there, he can do a split. Congratulations on 15 years as the logger, Rusty. We'll get stuck with you again real soon. I just went over the, the, the cliff. Because it must have been funny where Ava was because she was behind me and it looked like it looked like one of those things off route was it route one in California? Yeah, 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 That's it looked like Highway One. one. So what did it feel like in that moment when you went over the, the road? Well I knew yeah, it was a, there's a release when you know you're going over. You just let it roll. You buy your truck at Heritage Ford, <laughs> is all I'm saying. You're gonna fall off a <laughs> <That's road. all. laughs>